Hello everyone, my name is Prodesilaos, also known as Prod. In this video, I want to show you some custom code I have written, which allows me to hide or to tone down rather, org citations. Org citations are uh, bibliographic references, which are written in line in the document, and they look like links. You can see over here, these are all citations. The style they have is the same as that of a link. Here is a link and here are citations. They look identical. Generally, I think this is fine. This is a good uh, style to have. Um, however, when I am reviewing my work, when I am uh, reading what I have written, I don't really need to see all this. It's too intense. What I want is to hide it on demand such that I can focus on what I have written. And this is what my minor mode does, which, I'm will, which I will demonstrate right away. But before I do that, just to say that I have the code and I also have an annotated version of the code, which I will post on my website together with this video. So if you are watching this on the video hosting platform, there will be a link in the description pointing to my website where you will find all the code. Uh, let's then uh, demonstrate what this does. So it's prod org site mode and uh, take a look at the citations before I hit enter. We see that they are verbose right now. They are how you would normally see them. And now I will hit enter. So what happens now is that we see a shortened version of each citation and they are also grayed out. So I can still see them. I can still tell that these are citations. They are unambiguous, but they don't call for my attention as much as the other citations did earlier. Uh, let me toggle again the functionality so that you can see how we restore it. And here it is, we are back to uh, normal. And basically this is what the code does. What I wanted them to show you is the actual code over here, which is a fairly small uh, snippet. It's not too large, too, not too long. And the idea is that we use so-called overlays. This is uh, the object that is used in Emacs Lisp to associate properties with a given region in the buffer. And one such property is to have the invisible uh, property, in other words, to uh, make the text uh, invisible. And uh, this is how org, for example, will fold its headings. It makes an uh, invisible overlay, which stretches from, the, uh, from below the heading until the beginning of the next heading and makes the text in between invisible and adds the uh, ellipsis sign there. Then we have a function which removes the overlays. And then we have another function which will remap the face of the overlay to another face that we specify. Finally, we have the minor mode, which will uh, do the work of the toggle that I demonstrated. So let me get out of this and just show you very quickly the annotated version that I have here. It's the same code, but every line of it, every at least non-trivial part, is commented at length. You can see the comment in this uh, orange uh, color. So all of this is commented and you can go through the code and anything that doesn't make sense will hopefully uh, be understandable after uh, you see this. And that's the idea, folks. It's uh, short, uh, but it works. It's really good and I enjoy using it. So uh, that's all for now. Let me just go to the end of this and that's all. And so, as I said, I will post this on my website and you can take a look. Finally, let me call it again. And here it is. It helps me focus on what I am doing. Thank you very much for your attention, folks. Take care and uh, goodbye for now. So closing the recording. Bye bye.